Mr. Lorenzo, you indicated that you wanted to be heard, and I, in fact, have some questions that I want to ask you. But first, let me ask you what you want to say regarding the factual basis. Factual basis is basically very good. Um, the details of when, what when you occurred, say very good, do you mean very accurate? Very accurate. Thank yes, you. Yes, very much so. <clears throat> They've got all the the basics in there. Everything, isn't it? Just the scenario of how things came to be is a little bit different, but it doesn't change the facts. Okay. And that's what I would just want to make clarify. It doesn't change the facts. I was there. Decisions were made. Things happened. Um, people don't know this, but other people were there, too. I hate to say this. And uh, the state's not sure I purposely left it out. And it was uh, with Michael, um, with uh, Mr. Gale House, was a group decision. And uh, for many different reasons, and um, uh, um, and but I it was in my house. We made that decision. I made that decision clearly. We did it in self-preservation because it could be identified. Um, and I take responsibility because they. But after we made that decision, they looked at me and they said, "Should we do this?" And I said, "Let's do it." So I take responsibility for that. And I appreciate that, yep. but it begs the question that I have, and that is why. Why? Okay. Do you want me to go into a little? I, I won't go into gory details, but I, I appreciate that. Yes. Okay. But I would like to know why. Okay. I was identified as being speaking with Mr. Uh, um, Gale House at the bar, and that's true. I didn't actually meet Mr. Gale House. Mr. Gale House had met another gentleman, the gentleman I invited back. Um, these two gentlemen, I did not know offhand. They, they were talking to Schweikert. I put this in one of my uh, filings with the court before. When, I, when they, they said they knew who I was, and then I realized who they were, and I said, okay, let's all go back to my house and we'll party and have a good time. Mr. Schweik, uh, Mr., um, and we did all go back. We we're going to go in the hot tub. We we're going to do all that uh, going on. Um, and uh, at that time, Mr., um, Gale House, I get confused with the two. Mr. Gale House agreed to want to do a, a I don't want to tarnish the memory of this kid, um, but agreed to want to do a group thing. We did some drugs. Mr. Gale House did fall in the garage and cut himself. He actually did do that. That kind of stopped the idea of doing a group gathering or group sex, if you want to call it that. So he was with the other two guys were bondage masters. I was a bondage master. Scott Schweikert was a, was a, um, a green. He wanted, he was a wannabe. So we went into the house. Mr. Galehouse agreed to be bound. He said he's been done this before. He wanted to do that. So you want me to go into a little bit more? No. I, I, I just wanted to know why they're okay. dead. Oh, okay. Well, this is the reason. I'm going leading up to it. Mr. Schweikert wanted to get some um, experience. So we allowed him to do some stuff on Mr. Galehouse. Now, I don't know if I should add this, but um, Mr. Schweikert wanted to have a video done of him having experience as a master he was trying. And I was videotaping it while I was doing this. Mr. Schweikert, um, got carried away. He lost control. He did that once before on a meeting I had with on a, on a, a group thing we did together once before and uh, scared the heck out of the other guy. But anyway, he lost control. The kids started to scream and get all upset. Um, we did the video. We put a gas mask on him because he did not want to be identified while being videotaped. So that's why the gas mask went on. Um, we realized that the kid was going to probably call the police on all of us. So we had a power and we said, this kid can't leave. He's going to identify all four of us. So that was why the decision was made. See, I'm coming from because he wound up hurting the kid. We didn't, wasn't our intention to do that, but I don't think it was Mr. Schweiker's intention to do it, but he was green on what he was doing. And we left him to his own volition and he wound up hurting the kid in his lower extremities. Who are the other people that were there? I knew them 
I knew who they were because of because of a bondage masters, um, and I realized who they were because there was a there was a, a organization that well, bondage master organization type thing, and I was part of that, but I never met them before. And when they told me they were, they, that's why they knew who I was. They said, "We know who you are," but I didn't know who they were. Then I said, "Okay, we'll still come back." That's why I invited them back to the house, but I didn't know them. No. I knew them. I know two names. I only know their first names because when you're in a, that type of club situation, you generally don't give out your last names. That's just not it. It's you meet, you greet. And Do you agree to provide additional information to authorities should they seek it? I don't have their names. The thing I have, I don't know how to contact them anymore. I remember one name was John. The other name was Chad or Chuck. I can't even remember. Chad or Chuck is the one that patched up Mr. Um, Galhouse is on. And um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know how far I should go with it. Yeah. But uh, what do you call it? I'm, I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> Some, but I don't know their names because after this happened, they split. After the body was distributed and I did not dismember that body. And there's a good reason for that. And I can explain that to you. Very good reason. I don't know that it's necessary. Okay. And, um, but it was done by the person that did this because he had medical experience. It was done by Schweikert and him. I stayed in front because it was a Saturday morning. There were people at my house in my neighborhood. People all stopped and said hello to each other. If I was in the back making noise, they would come back to find out if I was where I was. So I, homeowner, I stayed in the front with one of the other guys. And if anybody came along, I, I could say I'm having work done at my garage. I cannot tell you how much what I hear from you infuriates me. I know it does. I can tell. And but I don't know. You're asking me to tell you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Are there other homicide victims? Other than this evening, are there any other homicide victims that have died at your hands no is there any request from the state regarding any questions that i asked of this defendant uh no your honor thank you i'm going to find that there is a sufficient factual basis i am going to find that Mr. Lorenzo's plea of guilty to two counts of first degree murder is entered into freely and voluntarily. I am going to accept his plea of guilty to these two charges at this time. We will now move to phase two, which is the penalty phase. And that is not something that we can complete today. We discussed last week the possibility of a mitigation counselor. And we unfortunately received some information after that that counselor who was discussed is not available or would take over a year. This case has already lasted too long for us to wait a year to get to the sentence in this case.